when you're done. That's what doesn't make any sense. Why do we need to capture a submarine? You, you'll see what I'm talking about in the next video. Okay. I need this. If I could just give orders to my teammates, that would be super helpful. Right around the corner. Should be right over here. I'm gonna die! Mike, damn it! Damn it! What are they doing here? <sighs> what am I gonna do with you, Mike? Really? They're too far away for me to get an accurate shot off on them. Let him get closer. Aren't there like a couple of guys over here? No. I'm thinking this bridge. Okay. Ah, stop moving. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Stop moving! Mike? Thank you for being a distraction. Now, there's going to be a couple of guys over here. Oh, God! I don't know why the water is electrified. And why it didn't kill me. No, right, no, stop, 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 stop! Mike, 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 Mike. How did he get up there? Seriously. And the reason I chose the sniper rifle this time is because there are going to be a lot of enemies. No, no, it's this bridge right over here. Boom. Should be a guy with a sniper rifle. Oh, shit, shit. There's a guy right there. Yeah. Oh, you there. Yes, this gun is actually very good at destroying VS. As I would have demonstrated in the last mission if Mike hadn't wandered off on his own! There's a lot of enemies over here. I mean a lot. You can't see them now, but they'll start shooting any second. Yes. There's a shot. That's a VF. Hi, Mike. I'll try and destroy that later. Okay. Whoa. Gotta find the guy with the sniper rifle and drop him. Where is he? Shooting me. Now, a smart person will hop into that bleed view. But I'm not a smart person. Never claimed to be. Where, why didn't he go off? Oh. Now, ah, no, you're not it. Ugh, I'm gonna get myself killed. Where's this fool? There he is. Takes care of that VS. 
There are guys that will use this lens flare over here to hide. Aha! Hold still. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yes! We could do this all day, buddy. Do it again. Come on. I dare you. <laughs> yes! For all the rockets I caught with my face. Is that everybody? No, that's not everybody. Haha! See? They use the lens flare, but for some reason, night vision counteracts it. Can't see anything? Now you can see stuff. Can't see? You can see. Can't see? You can see. Who is that? Alright, that should be everybody. Which means now I can take my time and stroll over here. All of you, get aboard the sub. Hey, I'm not to oh shit. Oh, I miss the days when you could eject a pilot from their VS and then steal it. Um, also, one thing to... Aha! Someone left. Um, remember how I said battle armor is rare? Yeah, I was wrong. It's all over the fucking place. I just never get to use it. So I naturally assumed it was rare. Because here's some battle armor. And there's some battle armor in this one, too. Unfortunately, or I should say perhaps fortunately, your allies will not pick it up. So that's kind of a good thing. Uh, you can actually make your allies drop weapons if they grab them. Hi! Sounded a little too excited about that, didn't I? Yeah, if your ally picks up a weapon and you want it, all you have to do is, like, uh, basically stand next to them and just, like, stop it, stop it, stop it, and then they'll just eventually. Alright, so it's actually a good thing that they won't grab your armor, or the power armor. They just totally ran in a circle that was unnecessary. And right, there you go. Now, when you're playing multiplayer, you don't strictly have to ride the submarine. As long as the bulk of... if at least two or three people get on the submarine and activate it... Or as long as one person gets on the submarine and activates it... The submarine will start moving. That person is trapped on the sub. They can't get off it no matter what they do. However, other players can actually run alongside the bridge here and here... And uh, follow the submarine and fight off a horde of enemies I'm about to fight. Yeah, see how Mike is up there? As long as at least one person is on here, we're good to go. And as long as the submarine is moving, we can't spawn anywhere else. Attaboy, Mike. Be a hero. They don't whistle at me. There's nothing I can do about it. You're the one that's stuck over there. Hi there. The reason I chose the power armor is, as you can see here, uh, power armor, battle armor, is I could literally just stand here and calmly take my time destroying these things, instead of trying to hectically fire at targets. Oh, there's someone up there. Over no, there, he's over here. My sub. We will try to hop on the sub. As you can see, one of them actually got on the sub. One of them always managed to sneak on the sub, and I'm not supposed to be always.
So as you can see, this would be a lot easier with more people, and if someone were actually not on the submarine. Huh, that worked out. That worked out better. Good job, Mike. You made me proud, son. Son, I am proud. Fun fact. If one of those little, um, orange question mark boxes appears on the submarine, like when you kill an enemy soldier, and you get to this cutscene and it's still there, it will still be in the cutscene until it fades away. Alright, that is it for Chapter 2. And again, this mission went much faster than I'd originally hoped it would. Wow. I thought it would have taken 20 minutes, then I projected it to be 12, and it turned out to be 10 and a half. Exactly. That's a little scary. That would have been perfect for when you 2 had its 11-minute time limit. So, that is it for Chapter 2. Next time, Chapter 3, one of the longest... But funnest chapters. Actually, I should have said this. Episode 4, out of all the episodes in the game, there are six total, out of all the episodes, Episode 4 is the longest and has the most plot development. It is in Episode 4 that you finally discover what you're supposed to be doing, what the whole point of this game is. So, next time, Episode 4, Chapter 3, Mission 1. See you then, folks.